morning children already in our previous class we studied about what is density why few substances float on water and why few substances sink in water and heaviness and lighter when do we say a body is heavier and when do we say a body is lighter we discussed all these things in our previous class because of density only few substances sink and few substances float okay how we define density mass for unit volume is considered as density mass for unit volume means for example you take the case of 100 ml of beaker 100 ml of beaker if i puff cotton in a 100 ml of beaker okay and find the weight in the same manner if i pour some floor or some iron uh, in it if i find that weight the iron weights more when compared with the cotton because when i have taken iron mass of iron is more in unit volume so the mass for unit volume is considered as density okay so density is the only factor we can say a body is heavier or lighter are you clear more density we say that more heavier less density and we say lighter are you clear about that one in the same manner today in, in this class we will do a lab activity related to find the relative density of the solids relative density of the solids how do we define the relative density relative density is defined as weight of the solid by weight of water displaced by the solid weight of solid and weight of water displaced by the solid for the solid i have taken here iron here i have taken iron okay so the main aim of this experiment is to find the relative density of the solids now what are the materials needed one is the overflow jar see this one this is known as the overflow jar next one this is known as electronic weighing electronic weighing machine next i have taken some water this is water and this is iron okay and this is nothing but what is that we call it as the spring balance are you clear about that one now everyone observe this carefully see this what is the reading on the spring balance now what is the reading it is zero it is zero okay now i am finding the weight of this iron how many grams 300 grams how much 300 grams so weight of this iron is how much iron object is 300 grams so here i am writing weight of iron iron is equal to weight of iron in air you have to mention that 300 grams now i have taken water in the overflow jar observe this one this is known as overflow jar now see this i have taken water in the overflow jar okay now you have to wait for some time until the last drop falls down are you clear about that one now come to the point i kept the what is that beaker glass beaker near the mouth of overflow jar observe this now observe the readings carefully now i am suspending i am dipping the weight iron into the overflow jar in the water okay observe this carefully see now the weight is how much 300 grams observe this carefully is it 300 grams or more than that 300 grams now observe the weight of this this solid when it is immersed in water when it is dipped in water okay
What is the weight? What is the weight? Observe this reading. 200 grams. Isn't it? Okay. So, when the object, when the solid is dipped in the water, it loses some amount of weight. It loses some weight. In the air, its weight is 300 grams. When it is dipped in water, its weight is 200 grams. There is a loss of how many grams? 100 grams. So, the solid when it is immersed in water or when it is dipped in water, it loses, it appears to lose 100 grams of weight. Why it lost that weight? Because of the upward thrust created by the water. Upward thrust acting on the solid. Are you clear about that one? Okay. Now, see this. What I am doing now? I am find. I collected the water. Okay, I collected the water which has flown from the overflow jar when the iron ball is immersed in water. Now, see this. I am finding the weight. See, come. Now it is zero. See the reading. It is showing zero. Okay. It is zero. Now, I am finding the weight. Right now. Ninety three point two zero. Weight of the water. Weight of the water. With jar is equal how much? Ninety three point five grams. Or 93.3 grams. Okay. Now, see this. Come. It is 44.91 grams. Weight of this cylindrical jar is equal to how much? 0.91 grams is equal to 44.9 grams. Now, weight of water. Weight of water. What? This is the weight of water displaced by the solid. Displaced by the solid. This is the weight of water displaced by the solid. What is it? It's a little bit. It's a little bit. It's a little bit. बारूण मानन का निकूनम अदम ऐसे ना सो वेट ऑफ़ द वाटर डिस्प्लेस्ड बाय द सॉलिड इज़ इक्वल्ड 93.5 माइनस 44.9 ग्राम्स हाउ मच यू विल गेट टेल मी हाउ मच 15 माइनस 9 6 12 माइनस 4 8 48.6 grams. How much? 48.6 grams. Okay. So, what is the weight of the water displaced by the solid? 48.6 grams. Now, substitute the values. Weight of the iron. What is the weight of the iron? We got it here. I have written 300 grams. Divided by weight of the water Displaced by the solid is equal to 48.6. Roughly, you can take it as 48. Okay. Or 49. You can take it as 49 for our convenience. Grams, grams gets cancelled. 300 divided by 49. How much you will get? Tell me. Divide 300 with 49. 300 divided by 49 6 9 ja 54 6 4 ja 24 29 okay 6 0 
okay means nearly 6.1 what is that 6.1 how much 6.1 so the relative density of the iron is equal to how much 6.1 are you clear about that term? okay do you understand the concept so when a substance is immersed in water immersed in water it displaces some water it displaces some water are you clear about that one so by you by by this we can find the relative density of the solids in the same manner we can find the relative density of the liquids also so for that one i got the coconut oil one more uh, milk or something if you brought uh, anyone milk or something other liquid we will do that activity also are you clear do you understand the concept okay right close it